Hello and welcome back amigos. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make the best meal prep chicken you'll have this year. It's not just good for tacos, which is what I'm making right now. It's also really good for um, to put over your rice if you want to place it into a torta, a sandwich, your tostadas. And the best part of this chicken is that if you serve it it gets a little bit cold in the lunch don't worry it's still going to taste really good because we have a cold uh yogurt sauce that's absolutely divine so go ahead and keep watching if you want to learn how to make these tacos and most of all if you want to make this chicken i took some chicken breast i butterflied it and i tenderized it nice and flat and now we're going to start seasoning our chicken for your seasoning you'll need one clove and that's the spice half a tablespoon of onion powder one teaspoon of black pepper, half a tablespoon of salt, half a tablespoon of Mexican oregano, half a tablespoon of ground cumin, one teaspoon of sugar, and two cloves of garlic finely chopped. Well, coarsely chopped, you, you know what I mean, guys. <laughs> Go ahead and add your seasoning to your chicken. It sounds like you're recording by a rainfall. Yeah, we have a rainy day today. It's actually really beautiful. I'm not excited about the humidity, but it is a beautiful sound and it's so pretty to look at. Go ahead and massage your chicken with the seasoning for a good minute, minute and a half. Be gentle, don't be aggressive. Not for this part, okay? Once you've massaged your chicken with the seasoning, you're gonna use the juice and zest of one lime, two tablespoons of olive oil, and if you need to use less, that's okay. And if you don't have olive oil, guess what? You can make it comfortable for your home. You're gonna add one third of a cup of chopped parsley and flat leaf or the curlier one will work. One third of a cup of chopped cilantro and if you don't want any of these, guess what? This chicken is just gonna be so well seasoned that you're not gonna skip any flavor in your chicken. You're gonna be okay, I promise. So we're gonna go ahead and massage this for another 30 to 40 seconds just until it's well combined. And boom, done amigos, our chicken is well seasoned. You can save your marinade for later use, you can freeze it, but what we're gonna do, we're gonna place this right into our multi-cooker. One of our Views Cup friends suggested that we get the Aura Pro Instant Pot, and friends, we are not disappointed. So we are gonna get started today, and we are gonna press our sear button. Cloud, can you help us out? Sear, saute, saute. Hey! <laughs> Hey friends, this is your Tia Cloud telling you, just like I tell my sister, do not touch the pot. Wait three minutes and you'll smell the heat in the air. And now we're ready to saute some pollito. And we're gonna allow the chicken to sear for a good five minutes. After about four to five minutes, you want to flip your chicken. And now we're going to slow cook for three hours. Friends, I'm trying not to be such a bossy mommy, but I do have to tell you, don't start making your sauce until you've cleaned your kitchen, okay? You don't need any of the chicken uh, heebie-jeebies around. And if you haven't taken a shower today after you're done making a sauce, make sure to take a shower. That's for the teenagers. <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna need one cup of plain yogurt. If you have Greek yogurt, it works well with this recipe too. Don't feel obligated to just use plain. And then we're gonna add about half a cup of mayonnaise. Did you get a tattoo? What tattoo? The green on your wrist? I should. I was thinking a about- leaf? Would you get a, a I don't know, I was cilantro? thinking about, <laughs> maybe I should get a cilantro leaf painted over um, my burn from last year. If you, don't, if you don't have a burn, then what are you doing in the kitchen? What are you doing in the kitchen? Tell us. Friends, it's because there was a lot of stress in my life last holiday season and I managed to burn myself here, but it's it's healing well. Mm -hmm. It's done well, it's just a mark. We're okay. <laughs> We're gonna add the juice of one key lime. If you don't have a key lime, the flavor is gonna differ, but you can use lemon or a regular lime. Works great, but if you ever get a hold of key limes, ooh, take advantage of it, friends. They are beautiful. We're gonna add a little small bunch of parsley. You don't have parsley, go with cilantro. And if I don't say cilantro that way, it doesn't taste as good. That's right. <laughs> I have a rep to protect, guys. 
We get more drama from not pronouncing the words in Spanish than we do the other way. So like if we say cilantro, our friends, our amigos that speak Spanish our and our family will come for us, guys. Yes, and some of our Visa Club friends would be like, ¿Qué están haciendo? What are you guys doing? You guys know how to say it, so say it right. <laughs> You're going to need uh, garlic. If you have two or three, it'll work perfect. One jalapeño. <laughs> You like how I said that? <laughs> but say it how you want to say it. Un jalapeño. You're going to add one teaspoon of black pepper, one teaspoon of ground cumin. I love those acrylic spice containers. You got me into them. They are, they're magical. They're great. It took me a while to take them out of storage. And now that they're here, I'm like, where have you been in the past <laughs> few months, you know? <laughs> You're going to need uh, one teaspoon of salt. And now we are going to blend until smooth. You guys ready to get to dancing? Yes, Was that here. one teaspoon of cumin? One teaspoon of each, yeah. Oh, okay. One teaspoon That's black easy. pepper, one teaspoon ground cumin, and one teaspoon salt. And obviously you adjust your salt to taste before I forget. One fourth of a cup of olive oil. Friends, for those of you that get a little bit, um, like how much did you add, Steph? Don't worry, it's all in the description area. I think we tried it for three recipes where we didn't add in the description area to see if you guys would prefer that. For those of you watching on your TV, hello. Um, so everything's in the description area and I'm trying my best to let you guys know the measurements as we cook. And boom, done. And boom, done, amigos. Our chicken is ready, it's juicy, it's tender, and I'm just gonna take it over to the chopping block and I'm gonna chop this up into little pieces like you would see at a taco shop because apparently I can't get enough tacos. But I'm gonna be letting you know. We dream of tacos. <laughs> we do dream of tacos and other things you can pair this chicken with. It doesn't have to be tacos, and we'll talk about that while I'm chopping. We're gonna be using a roasted salsa today. I'll leave all the ingredients I used for this particular one today. All I did was roast, all the ingredients blend, and now I'm gonna cook it just a little bit to keep it nice and warm and to preserve it a little bit longer for me this week. I'm gonna be warming up some flour tortillas and then we are ready to start chopping up this chicken taco style. Mm -mm -mm. Before I start chopping our chicken, I wanna go over what we have here. I have some purple onions with a little bit of ground cumin and paprika. We have our red radishes, key limes, cucumber, freshly chopped iceberg lettuce, our cooked salsa. And for those of you that like a more milder but yet hot salsa, that one's gonna do it. Cause I know the salsa cien fuegos, you guys were on fuego <laughs> with that one. And here we have our chicken. You can really just use your fork to separate the chicken, but I want thin little slices like this. This is the look that I want to go for. I'm gonna make Cloud's first tasting taco and we're gonna add a good amount of chicken. Don't be stingy with the sauce. Do not be stingy with the sauce. <laughs> Now's not the time to be greedy. Nope. Be greedy with your personal time. Yep. <laughs> and then all you're gonna do is just boom, boom. Oh, let, don't let me forget because Cloud will come for me. Just a couple of radishes for me. There you go. Thank you. The limoncito. Thank you, sister. For Cloud. Mm. Oh my gosh, that sauce is spectacular with this chicken. And I'm gonna need somebody very special to say, ah. Uh, Buen provecho. Se va y se corre con el taco. Ah, iba a decir con el borracho, pero. Hey, hey, hey. Cloud has jokes today. <laughs> For those of you that know, mm. talk to me in the comments. Mm. Mm -mm. <laughs> You're awful. Mmm, necesito más salsita. Yummy. I can't get enough spice lately. I don't know what's going on with me. I love it. Me encanta. Oh, did you buy the Costco side of uh, Texas coffee down there? No, it's the H-E-B size. Oh, oh, okay. The San Antonio coffee blend. Oh my gosh, so good. Mm. These are really juicy. Delicious. Mm. Oh, I forgot I can't be dancing here. Yes, you can. Remember when you used to uh, pack these lonchecitos for me when I was in the office? Mm-hmm. I think everybody that remembers uh, me doing mukbang 
you remember when I used to tell them, if you have a single, you know, a family member or whatever, make sure to help them making uh, dinner, picking up the kids at school. Good looking out. Um, now I'm the single mama and I'm living my best life. Uh, hey, that's why I made you some agua fresca. Uh huh. <laughs> mm. Mm. All right, we have a tip for you. I remembered. <laughs> you can make the same dish with a different kinds of protein. Mm -hmm. You can use pork and you can use fish. And is that it? Oh, tofu. You can use tofu as well. Mm hmm. Sear it. You have to sear it. Sear it and then add the seasoning and then cook it for a few minutes if you're using tofu. Don't put your tofu in the multi cooker though. Use that one on the stove top, right? Mm -hmm. And this recipe is not just for uh, the multi cooker. You can do this on your pan. You can place it in the oven. You can place it in a regular uh, crock pot. Is there something else? Oh, I don't know. Trying to figure out. As always, Cloud and I are wishing you the best. We absolutely adore you. Please let us know if you make this recipe. And we want to give a special shout out to all of you who are driving and not texting. And Cloud's giving me that look because she was almost hit by a texter on the road. So if you're texting, put your phone down, take your time. You are valuable to society and to your family. So don't text and drive. And if you haven't subscribed, make sure to subscribe, click the bell for notifications. And on that one, we'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye. Adios.